You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, B&B fans. Belinda from Soap Dirt here, and we need to talk about how and why Sugar is in L.A. and wound up at Steffi Forrester's house that fateful night and that wound up everybody thinking Sheila was dead. We have some new context for why the woman that looks just like Sheila whispered that Steffi would die that night, what she's up to, why she is doing this. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, though, if you're not following us already. Now let's dive right in. So you probably remember the night that Steffi stabbed some 10-toed person to death that looked like Sheila. That person was lurking outside, and the only thing we really heard her say out there was, it was like, Steffi Forrester, you die tonight. And I have been wondering for a while now why Sugar was there, why she went into that house only to wind up dead, especially since she went in unarmed. Now it's becoming more clear to me. I think I've kind of kind of sussed this out. So I've been wondering why Sugar went in there at all, and whether it's some sort of weird sacrifice that she had been gaslit or tricked into because Sheila has tricked her before. And that's because I was looking at this from the perspective of Sheila Carter being the villain in this scenario, being the mastermind, cooking up something. Bold set it up to look like Sheila went over there because she was furious that Steffi had face punched her. But it was all very weird from the jump, the weird veil on her face, the fact that Sheila never spoke when she was in the house. They they're vowing to kill Steffi. Why would Sugar want to kill Steffi? She doesn't even know her. So if you don't know the Sugar Sheila backstory, Sugar was on B&B. She was a prison warden that Sheila manipulated into helping her escape. And then Sheila tricked Sugar into plastic surgery to look just like her. And if I recall from Young and the Restless correctly, she actually went to prison at one point because she looked like Sheila. So she was herself on Bold the Beautiful and then over on YNR, she had Sheila's face. So complicated, messy weird stuff. The bottom line, Sugar came back for revenge on Sheila. And it looks like revenge served ice cold because it's been a minute. It's been like 20 years or so. So on Friday, we started to get a little glimpse of this where Deacon was going through Sheila's messages and emails and stuff. And he found threatening messages from Sugar to Sheila. And he remembers, of course, Sheila saying she was meeting with someone from her past. So I suspect that Sugar showed up and was making demands threatening Sheila, maybe threatening Sheila's family, specifically maybe threatening Sheila's son, Finn, and his wife, Steffi, something like that. And I do think Sugar went there to the Malibu house that night in a scheme to send Sheila to prison to pay her back for when Sugar was sent to prison as Sheila. So let's think about that. If Sugar wanted to see Sheila in prison, killing Steffi would guarantee that because nobody else had a motive. And if anybody else saw her there, she looks like Sheila. And, you know, that's what I think happened. So I think Sugar went there with murder on her mind, but didn't expect to wind up dead herself. You know, she did go in without a weapon. But I think that Sugar was planning to use something in the house to kill Steffi so it would look like a crime of opportunity. I mean, any house, your house, my house, every house is full of weapons, knives, fireplace, pokers, heavy pieces of sculpture. You know, you could bash somebody's head into the floor and kill them, bash their head into the counter. I mean, her being unarmed did not mean that Sugar wasn't there to do a homicide because I feel certain that she was. So the question is, what happened to Sheila and where is she? she. So I suspect Sheila met with Sugar, who after Steffi punched her, I think Sheila met with Sugar and Sugar made threats. And I think Sheila fought with her and Sugar subdued her. So I think, you know, maybe Sugar was doing some kind of villainous monologue. I think we're going to get some flashbacks probably of Kimberlyn Brown playing both Sheila and Sugar. And I'm excited about that. And I expect Sheila might have fought and lost and wound up, you know, imprisoned, basically. I suspect Sheila is stashed away somewhere as a prisoner. So maybe Sugar locked her lookalike in a basement or a cage and planned to come back and let her loose. That way, Sheila wouldn't have an alibi for the murder. And then she could let her loose and Sheila would be arrested and go to prison and 
nobody would ever suspect a lookalike did it. But since Sugar wound up dead, and that clearly wasn't part of Sugar's plan, I mean, heck, Sheila could be in a room somewhere locked away, starving to death with no hope of escape. Now, something else I've been thinking about, this is a longer shot, but I'd like to see it. There is a chance Sugar had an accomplice. I've been hoping to see Mike Guthrie mixed up in this. And remember, he was a prison guard. Sugar was a prison warden. So they might have known each other professionally in the past. They There's not a, a known time period on Bold and the Beautiful where history shows that those two characters were in LA at the same time. But Mike worked as continually as a prison guard. It's just that we didn't see him on the show. So there very well could be a very easy way to explain those two working together and those two knowing each other. Or, you know, and with Sugar being dead, then Mike may have flipped the plan on its ear and is planning to keep Sheila for himself because he has an obsession with her. But maybe Sugar had no accomplice at all. I'm just, like I said, I'm hoping for Mike Guthrie in the mix. But nonetheless, I still think I figured out what Sugar's motive was. So we could have Sheila just sitting desperate, hungry, and with no hope of anybody finding her. I mean, they think she's dead. If it's still revenge, you know, it, it's still revenge, even if Sugar's dead, you know, because Sheila would be locked away to die alone in a room. I mean, that's as good as dying in prison, right, in terms of Sugar getting revenge. So, what I feel like the purpose of this storyline is, just by the way, is to redeem Sheila in Finn's eyes. If Sheila were trying to protect Finn and his wife from crazy sugar, who's even crazier than her, that would go a long way towards impressing Finn. I mean, it could pretty well redeem her in his eyes, but I will say no effort, no deed, no nothing could ever redeem Sheila Carter in the eyes of Steffi and the other four. Foresters, literally nothing. Sheila could give Eric a kidney, Steffi a lung, and Ridge some bone marrow, and they would still think she's the devil incarnate because she has terrorized the family for years. But for Finn, you know, he's got this softer heart and a lot less PTSD where his mom's concerned, even though she did shoot him. To be fair, she wasn't trying to shoot her son. She was trying to shoot his wife, and he jumped in front of the bullet, and then she put a second bullet in Steffi. But she really wasn't there intending to, to shoot Finn. So I just really doubt she would shoot him on purpose. And that's got to count for a little motherly love, right? Finn has already shown us his great capacity for love and kindness and forgiveness. Remember, he saved Sheila when his other mom, Lee Finnegan, was letting her die of a heart attack in the ER. And he hugged her at the jail that one time when he went to check on her as a doctor. And then he hugged her again in the corridor of the courthouse when Liam filmed it after she had her charges dropped. Finn just can't help himself. His heart is so squishy and soft, unlike Steffi Ridge or most of the other Foresters and Logans. So we all know by the time Sweeps rolls around, Deacon has, he is completely convinced that Sugar has hurt Sheila, especially after he speaks with Lauren Finmore this coming Friday and finds out that Sugar is a Sheila doppelganger ganger because that explains everything to him. That tells him sugar went in the oven, not Sheila. And then April 26th and 29th, Finn and Deacon are scouring LA looking for kidnapped Sheila Carter. And I feel like if he goes to Finn and say, look, there's a woman who looked just like your mom who had 10 toes, then it's like, okay, he's not crazy. Like everybody thinks next week, there's more to this. So they meet this homeless guy, Tom played by special guest star, Clint Howard. And I think he's going to point them in the right direction. And there's going to be huge fallout from all this. You know, Sheila, is alive and the foresters are all going to be pissed off about that. Finn is going to be so happy his bio mom's not dead. I don't think he's going to stay away from her. And then Finn being close to his mother and trying to encourage Steffi to be more forgiving about her because she was actually a victim in this and not a perpetrator, if my theory is correct, that could blow up their marriage. And then that sets the stage for Liam to get closer to Steffi or for Steffi to turn to Liam for comfort and everything spirals. It's just going to be this domino effect after it all comes out. Wait and see. And again, just to be clear here out of everything I just told you here's what is confirmed spoilers sugar is indeed the one that died sugar was tormenting and threatening Sheila before she broke into Steffi's house intent on killing her also confirmed Lauren tells Deacon all about sugar and then confirmed he and Finn go looking for her in a desperate search I always like to be transparent with you guys on what's a spoiler and what is me speculating when I think I've figured out how a storyline's gonna go and you know chatting soaps with you guys but I really strongly strongly suspect 
respect that this is ultimately about redeeming Sheila, at least in her son's eyes. And I do think she's not a perpetrator. She is a victim and she is locked away somewhere. So wait to see how it goes. But things kick into high gear next week. And of course, the following week, we are in sweeps and Sheila Carter will be found in sweeps. Be sure to drop your comments on this big twist in the storyline. Subscribe, please, if you haven't. And come back soon. Let me know what you think about all this and drop in because we're talking Bold and the Beautiful seven days a week right here on your number one soap channel. And as always, I'm Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.